Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Hey friends, Shane from HotterWrench.com. In this video, I got a quick little tip on some emergency uh, roadside diagnosis, repair, thinking about things, and especially uh, we're here in Phoenix, so fortunately we get to ride all year round, but we're going to be coming in the season pretty quick where people are going to be jumping on their bikes and riding for the first time. And I got a call on an emergency uh, situation where someone, at first when I got the call, they just said that the bike was dead and stranded. So when I got there, I realized they'd actually uh, crashed the bike as well. I've already got the body work off, uh, hanging up in the shop here, uh, doing some more diagnosis, just make sure there wasn't anything really serious underneath. Can't stress that enough too. Don't rely on just the outside, pull the body work, check out things after a wreck. But anyway, uh, this, I was told that it had a dead battery. So I want you to kind of think about like, you know, what do I go about doing in that situation? So if you remember all the way back in October, I did this video on this top, uh, Don, uh, Volcano 1200. I'll have links below, of course, to it. And I had pulled this brand new out of the box and it, it was good and charged up and it, uh, saved the day for a guy in a gas station. It was way cool. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it below too. It was pretty cool. Uh, anyway, way cool tool. So when I got back uh, from that trip, I know unpacking my truck, I went ahead and charged this up. And then I haven't used this since October. And I was, oops, gotta turn on. I love this dedicated power switch. Can't bump this and leave it on. You know what I mean? So I was shocked to see that from October, this still had full charge. And I started this bike. From a, from a completely dead situation, okay? So that battery was down uh, 11 volts when I grabbed my meter on or something. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I take that back. It was at like four volts. Um, it was crazy, crazy, crazy low. I don't know if they left the headlight on or when they were you know waiting from the wreck or whatnot, but it was, it was drained quite a bit. But it took me, by the way, it took me over an hour. It's an hour and 15 minutes away with traffic to get to them. So... Here's the deal, this thing saved the day. So I gotta add this to my inventory list to make sure that I'm, you know, adding this to my batteries to charge. So I wanna make that little tip because a lot of you follow what I do and you saw my chart for charging all the batteries in the shop. I gotta add this. I don't wanna leave this in the shop because I love the fact when I'm in my truck, if someone is stranded in a gas station or I get a call, you know, and all of a sudden like, hey, we need help, it's with me and I can go when I'm in the truck. You know, I've got a, you know, all the tie downs necessary, the bike, the truck set up to, t uh, to tow a bike. And then my little emergency tool bag is full of stuff with a, also a set of sockets and wrenches under the seat. So I'm, I'm pretty well set up with, you know, metric and standard tools to, uh, to help out a, a Harley rider or a metric rider. But check this out. I had never thought of this before until right now working on this CBR uh, 500R. And what cracks me up is realistically this person with a little bit of knowledge would have been able to start their own bike and get home. They were only four blocks from home. The real issue I think was is the tires were really low. The bike hadn't been ridden in, some, in quite some time, possibly cold tires too. And then turn the corner it got a little goofy they were actually believe it or not on their way to a shop to have the bike checked out because they hadn't rode in a while so very responsible owner really trying to do the right thing just one of those things that uh you know should happen you know and so i want to recommend stay tuned to how to wrench learn about all the things if you ever want to ask questions or you, maybe people want me to recommend a first ride of the season video there's a lot of great content on youtube so uh you need to learn about it but here was my idea. Check this out. I didn't realize, honestly, you know, this has got a, a flashlight on it. You could charge your cell phones. It's got USB ports in there. Look at this. The trunk on this 500 fits that thing really nice. And the only other thing you'd have to have, you wouldn't need the charge cable and the accessories that come with it. But the jumpers themselves, I was just kind of curious if they fit in here. You could put it in a little baggie or get yourself a little soft you know, soft toed or something. Look at that. So m from a motorcyclist standpoint, uh, this thing is definitely going to be going in my DL. I mean, I've got a monster trunk on this thing or my Harley or my bag or my electric glide. I just got to start getting in the habit of putting this on my checklist to take with me because it saved the day twice now. So way cool. Uh, if you don't uh, have one of these, check them out. Uh, I'm, I've been totally thrilled with this brand. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, great price point. I'll put it below, but be prepared, learn uh, what to do, 
Uh, this particular case seemed a lot worse than it was once I pulled up because it had lost all electrical as well uh, during the crash. Um, the uh, turn signal in the body and the wires popped, uh, popped a fuse. Uh, I shouldn't say all electrical, but it, it did lose the dash, the lights, and the turn signal. Not headlights on a separate fuse, but to the, the owner of the motorcycle doesn't know much about it. It was pretty scary to think like this LCD panel after a crash is blank. So there's uh, quite a bit of concern. All alleviated. I literally fixed it on the side of the road with a Harbor Freight meter and that jump pack. So uh really was pretty surprising a customer like just how fast it turned around and wasn't as bad deal i did get a free wild buffalo wings meal out of it so i'm pretty stoked about that but anyway my friends i'm gonna get at it make it a great day make sure and subscribe like share all that good stuff and i hope this gave you a few tips that'll help you in your toolbox of being a motorcyclist uh love comments make sure and comment below on uh you know maybe a story where you've uh ran into this or something you do or just your uh thoughts on what you think of this uh this tool and all that good stuff anyway make it a great day as always keep wrenching i'm out